Once upon a time, in a little room immersed in the stillness of the night, a little light was flickering, seemingly unable to rest. For many years, she had protected her mistress's sleep through the darkest nights. But now, something was troubling her deeply. The little light gathered her magical energy and began to flutter around the room. She needed to clear her mind. She paused to look at a picture of her keeper, Alicia, with the thoughtful but determined air of someone who knows it's time to act. The girl with the sweet and ready smile was in a dark place. But the little light had a plan. All she needed was a willing helper, and she knew exactly where to find the perfect candidate. Nauseating sound reminds me of someone. Charming as ever. Rest assured, I would leave you in peace if Alicia weren't sick. Sounds serious. Let me know how it plays out. Enough of your wisecracks. There's no time to waste. She's been taken by dream demons. What do I know about dealing with demons and sick girls? But Alicia's... Not interested. I always said you were just a stupid egotist. <sighs> And she kept on believing you were a hero. Listen to me, you luminous little bug. I have no idea what you're talking about. Dream demons? You've got to be kidding. That little girl shut me away in here without batting an eyelid. If something really did manage to get in her dreams, I'm sure she can deal with it. Ooh, now I understand. She hurt your pride, did she? How long have you been stuck in this box? Months? Years? <sighs> And now, you're refusing to help her because she abandoned you. Why wouldn't she want to play with the stupid, filthy old bear anymore? Well, let me spell it out for you. You're pathetic, cowardly, despicable. <sighs> Darnation, enough with the sermon already. Just tell me what's going on, and then turn yourself off. Ah, oh, poor unfeeling bear. Alicia, our mistress, has fallen into a deep sleep. I know it sounds awfully strange, but demons are devouring her subconscious. Sounds like hogwash to me. But even if it were true, what could the two of us do about it? Trust me, you are the <clears throat> last toy I want to ask for help. Cut to the chase, Parasite! Okay, okay, why are you in such a rush all of a sudden? As I was saying, I can <clears throat> use my magic to lead someone into <clears throat> Alicia's dream world. <clears throat> you protected her from monsters in her sleep for years. Ah, so you finally admit that Alicia preferred me to a stupid luminous bug when she went to sleep. I wouldn't brag too much if I were you. I'm just saying that even though you're just a dusty, decrepit old bear now, once you're in there, no one will be able to stand up to you. So what's the plan? Destroy everything in my path? More or less. Okay, then I'll come with you to stretch my paws in the world of dreams. Stretch your paws? Maybe I didn't explain. You've already explained plenty, Parasite. I don't want to be anyone's hero. But you and these demons are really starting to get under my fur. Believe me, you have no idea how frustrated a stuffed animal can get. Shut away in a box for so long.
Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> what a strange smell. And who might you be? <laughs> you don't smell like a filthy wolf. Are you lost by any chance? <clears throat> I guess so. But if you would be so kind as to show me the path, be on my way. A serious air of judgment, my dear. Didn't your mother warn you about getting lost? Uh. It's too late now. The forest is infested with abominable wolves who can't wait to tear you to shreds. And they've already caught your scent. So, am I done for? There might be a way to save your fur. If you can get to my grandma's house quickly. <laughs> If you'd let me get up, I'd already be on my way. <laughs> Try not to lose your way this time. <laughs> Hmm. 